Yo guys what's up and I hope you're doing great. We got some big news about our new victim Virginia who will join the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game very soon. And I'm gonna tell you all about the new character right now in this video. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Let's get it. Barbara Crampton makes her way to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre in the form of the victim Virginia. So Barbara Crampton is a very unique horror actress and well known as a scream queen and a horror legend. And she will be voicing Virginia and her character will also have her likeliness. So she will look like her as you can see in the pictures right now. They are saying that they are very excited to share more details about our newest addition to the victim roster, Virginia. Virginia is a grief-stricken mother who can't get over the disappearance of her son, Jesse. She's obsessive over his vanishing and refuses to believe that he could be gone. The weight of her pain is so immense, she leaves behind her nursing career to move to Newt, Texas, the last location Jesse was seen. And out of desperation, she travels alone to remote areas in hopes of finding him. She even goes so far as to talk to anyone who could possibly have information on Jesse's whereabouts. So this eventually leads to Virginia spotting some unusual behavior near a remote farmhouse. And we all know who lives in that farmhouse, right? With hope in her heart that she'll find Jesse, her investigation of the property leads to her tragic run-in with the family. Captured and trapped in a different kind of nightmare, Virginia will use her vast knowledge of homemade remedies to escape. So Virginia is probably one of the oldest characters of the victim Morasta right now because she's a mother already and she's searching for her son. And now let's talk about Virginia's abilities. Virginia's time as a nurse allows her to see Sissy's flower powder and make special concoctions that she can use to possibly save her own life. The way I understand it is that she can see Sissy's flower tables and that she can use those tables to make her own mixture. And it would be a pretty interesting ability, right? So with this mixture, she can throw it directly at a family member to create a blue cloud that temporarily blinds them. Wow, this sounds really cool because that's just another way for the victims to fight back at the family and she can really be useful for her teammates to, to buy them some time to open the exits. This will buy Virginia and the other victims time to run away and possibly live to see another day. She also got a special ability which is called Boon and with that ability she can also contaminate blood buckets on the property. And if a family member gathers blood from a contaminated blood bucket then they will be disoriented for a short amount of time. So it's probably the same effect when you get hit by Johnny with his concussive fits that your screen may be a little bit blurry and shaky and you can't see that well and maybe you will also have trouble walking in the right direction like with, with Sissy's poison effect. That sounds like a cool ability and I hope they, they handle it that way that it's not going to be overpowered. Barbara Crampton is really in love with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and it's her favorite horror movie and she's saying that Gunnar Hansen was my friend so it's been great experience to keep the wonderful legacy of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre going with my inclusion in this game. Working with all the folks at Gun on my new DLC character has been a remarkable experience. They are among the best in the business. I'm so proud of what they have created and excited for everyone to see all the new stuff. Yeah, she's really praising the developers <laughs> and the game, of course, and she's really happy to be in the game. Yeah, we are happy to get a new victim in the form of Barbara Crampton, which is awesome for all those niche horror fans out there. And so Gunn is saying we still have much more to share about Virginia and to stay tuned on their official subreddit, etc. So yeah, we will stay tuned and hopefully we will get a release date and a lot more of cool information as well as some gameplay. Let me know in the comments down below if you're excited for this new victim and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss anything on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.